Yeah, so guys, we're here to find out ways to raise awareness for rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever is a big problem for Māori and Pacific Islanders. So who's got any ideas to raise awareness for rheumatic fever? Does anyone have any suggestions? Public speaking. Public speaking. Newspaper. Newspaper. All about social media. Social. Hmm. Yeah. Social media. Oh, guys, why don't we do an app? An app. Yeah. yeah. An app. Yeah. 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 I can make one. Um, Easy. If we're gonna make an app, um, we're gonna have to do some research, and maybe we should ask some people our age what they think. Oh yeah, that's good. So Carlos, do you know anything about rheumatic fever? Um, yeah, it all starts with a sore throat. So Andy, what do you know about rheumatic fever? Oh, just for, from that, it uh, starts with a sore throat, and if you didn't get checked out, you could get rheumatic, rheumatic, rheumatic fever. So you know, on the billboards, on the bus stop with that? Yeah. So now if I get a sore throat, I have to go check it out, or if anyone wants to start to go check it out, the doctor's here. A sore throat? A sore throat? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't really know anything about rheumatic fever apart from it affects your heart and it starts with a sore throat. I know that there's a, you know, pretty huge consequences if you don't get it checked out early. I've seen a lot of um, the advertising around from the Ministry of Health and it um, has been quite shocking seeing it, just, you know, how, how something so small as a uh, sore throat can lead to something so major as that. So, yeah, I, I think me and my family should take it seriously as it's really high in Pacifica families. I've actually got a mate that I used to play league with and um, he, he ended up getting rheumatic fever and it started um, it started off small with just strep throat and he didn't get it checked out and um, yeah, it ended up leading to rheumatic fever and um, heart damage and uh, he doesn't play league anymore and he's, I know he missed out on a lot of school from um, being diagnosed with that um, rheumatic fever and yeah. What should you do if you get a sore throat? Um, if you get a sore throat, you should immediately go see a doctor or a nurse. In our school, we have a we have a sore throat clinic that um that some boys want to come in and get checked to see if they actually have the sickness. Oh, it's, I think it's pretty simple. Just if you get a sore throat, you got to go check it out. If you get medication, get antibiotics. Make sure you're taking it all. I think it's pretty easy not to take it. Um, you can get lazy sometimes, but I think it's real important um, knowing that sore throats can lead to. Uh, rheumatic fever that, that we take all the medications that we get. Because I know I've seen ads and stuff, um, especially those two boys that have that um, rheumatic fever stuff and then it actually affects not only their lives but probably like their social life like um, like sporting and stuff so I think it's pretty critical that um, people know about this more. So now Galahal that we've got all the information collected out there, how has it helped you with you designing your app? Uh, you know, with all that information, it's uh, definitely helped hugely uh, with that second and third opinion that we got from all the people that you interviewed. When will the Rheumatic Fever app be available? Uh, the app will be available very soon. You know, I'm just finishing off some little bits and pieces that need to be done, but it'll definitely be finished soon. Fight, Fight the, the fever! fever! Sore throats can lead to rheumatic fever and heart damage. Every time your child has a sore throat, please get them checked by a doctor or nurse as soon as possible. If they are given antibiotics, make sure they take them for the full 10 days, even if they feel better. Sore throat clinics provide free assessment and treatment to children and young people aged 4 to 19. You can find a clinic by calling Healthline on 0800 611 116 or visiting this website. If you're not sure what to do, call Healthline for advice. <laughs>